What are you making? I'm just drilling holes. Last two weeks. Fuck it. Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you guys just seen, there was some time lapse there of me cutting a hole in the hood. That was from, what, two weeks ago now I actually did that. And I was gonna put out a whole video on it. Never got around to actually editing it. And uh, so I just figured, hell, we'll just use the time lapse from it and we'll just make it quick and simple. I cut a hole in the hood. Um, as you can see here. Uh, so the hood technically is not latch I mean that's pretty close and you can tell that the pipe does not come through the hood so at some point you're off the chop top off of the pipe and then raise the exhaust up you know just add some pipe in there weld it up and that way it actually comes through the hood um, and then I cut out a little bit more here just for the um, wastegate dump tube up pipe whatever you want to call it but this needs to be reworked as well but that'll end up coming up you know right next to the Right next to the exhaust there, so um, anyways, got the hood cut and that's good to go. Um, what else have I done? I was out here all day yesterday working on this thing. Um, just trying to button everything up uh, to get this thing down to the dyno. So I actually got the battery finally mounted down, um, drilled another hole in the battery box. And uh, let's see. Uh, so I had to drill another hole here for our, I think this is the alternator lead, I can't remember. But that goes up front, um, need to get that in here as well as, you know, power. Ground, got a battery tied down, that's good to go. Start cleaning all the junk that I had in the back out of here. Um, and then I started kind of cleaning up the interior. So finally, I uh, bled the hydro, or the staging brake here so that's bled um that was kind of wasn't hard actually it was pretty easy um the difficult part was that uh pretty much all of my lines were leaking because apparently i didn't tighten anything well it started i bled the driver's side and that went fine and then i went and bled the passenger side and when i bled the passenger side i came up i pulled on the handbrake and it just no pressure at all so I looked under the car. Well, I never tightened the uh, steel braided line back there. Um, apparently must have forgot one line. But then I also had it seeping um, underneath the carpet here where the T fitting is. Um, that was not tight either. So I had to tighten that up. I had to pull the carpet back. It wasn't a big deal. Um, 
But yeah, I've slowly just been kind of cleaning up in here. Um, I had a bunch of wires hanging down under the dash. I got those tied up. Um, got the trim piece put in on the floor on the other side. And uh, yeah, I went and bought some paint. And painted uh, that gray primer I had on there. Probably should have grinded that down a little better, but it's whatever. It'll be fine. Um, Speaking of not tightening things, so I tightened down the seat yesterday and uh, all brand new hardware, tighten it down. I forgot to tighten the bolts that are on the bracket that go into the seat. So I got to pull that thing back out now, tighten the bolts and then put it back in the car again. Oh, dang it, what an idiot. So yeah, that's one thing that I'll be doing. Let's see if I can get in here. Um. So, I bought a shift knob. That's new. Uh, it's just a knockoff. This is an Amazon $12 special. Like knockoff skunk too, but whatever. It'll work. I just wanted a shift knob. So, there's that. And I also have ordered the parts to put my dang steering wheel in here. Which, one of them's right here. Um, I just went with an NRG um, quick release. It's just a black one, nothing too fancy. And then I ended up ordering off, Am well I ordered that off Amazon. I also ordered NRG's race hub for the Civic. And that showed up today, actually it just showed up like 20 minutes ago. I opened the box up and they sent, because let me back up. I got the part. I opened up the package, I read the part number on the outside of the package, which wasn't right, so then I opened the box. Of course, the part is the wrong part. So I don't know, well, <laughs> they put it right on their dang page, you know, um, whatever, SRK R130H, and then they send me a 110. So, returned that. They're supposed to have another one coming to me, hopefully by Sunday, today is Friday. So hopefully, Round two is is good. If not, I'm just gonna return and I'll both get my money back. And I'm just gonna go order a normal, like, um, just your normal, like, horn style hub from, like, I don't know, eBay or Real, well, not Real Street, but like uh, JHP Performance or, or something. I don't know. Anyways, that's a recap for my last uh, little bit. Two days, whatever. Oh, yesterday, two weeks, I guess, because that's when I cut the hole in the hood. And yesterday. But basically, what we're doing is getting this thing ready for the dyno. So I did reach out to the tuner, and he's willing to tune this thing here, hopefully pretty soon. Um, I just basically need to give him a date. And I basically told him I'm going to be working on the car this weekend. And I really just want to go over the entire thing, make sure everything's good to go. We're going to set a date. And hopefully, after this video, the next video you guys watch is this thing going to the dyno. So, I'm going to throw this thing on a tripod, put it in the old uh, time-lapse mode, and we're just going to knock a bunch of stuff out. i got to change the oil on it. I think I'm going to put my carbon fiber mirrors on it finally. Um, get that seat back out, tighten the seat bolts, keep cleaning up the interior. Go over the engine. I got to get this thing off of these tires that it's sitting on. Back, I actually get it on the ground. And uh, yeah, that should be it. So I'm going to get to working on this thing. And then if I find anything of interest while I'm running around, um, I'll grab the camera. And get back to you. Otherwise, just enjoy this little time lapse.
So, fun fact quick guys, uh, in case anybody's curious and watching this. So you get new carbon fiber mirrors and uh, basically, let's see if I can get this to focus, you can see, you know, you just have the holes here. Um, and then your carbon fiber mirrors, the kit, comes with these little like Phillips screws to go in here and mount your mirror. Yeah, throw these screws in the garbage can. Take off your old mirrors, pull back the uh, little foam rubber insert thing, and then all you gotta do is grab a 10 mil ratchet with this, or a 10 mil socket with a ratchet, and pull out these factory studs. It's kind of long. Come on, come on. I didn't think it was like eight miles long here. Wow, is this thing ever gonna come on? The next morning. And then you, once you finally get that out, take your stud. You just screw that in to your new carbon fiber mirror. And it's a lot cleaner to install, except I just dropped it. So yeah, back to time lapse. All right guys, so I shut the camera off at some point here. Um, and fought the three inch exhaust pipe that I had hanging off the damn back of this car for the last, I don't even know, seven years. I probably put that thing on there like the first freaking week that I had this car because of the root. Fucking GoPro died again for the 80,000th 80, time trying to film anything out here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I put that three inch exhaust pipe on when I first got this car, like the first week, cause originally this was supposed to be a street car and clearly we're beyond that at this point. So yeah, pulled the can off the back, um, cleaned out the rest of the interior and what else did I do? That was pretty much it. Um, the mirrors are on as you guys seen. Um, I kind of played with those for a little bit, got those on. She's pretty much, I think she's she's dialed. Um, she's pretty much ready to go to the dyno at this point. Uh, I have to change the oil still. Um, I did put, this thing always zooms in so far. I did put the car back down on the ground. So it's like, to be honest, I think it's the first time that this thing has seen the ground and runs like ever. So, I mean, clearly there's no fenders, no bumpers there. Um, I honestly, I'd, I, I want to get a three piece front end for it eventually. You know, but they're not cheap. Um, I do have brand new vendors for it. I have brand new JDM vendors that I bought from Password JDM. For any of you that know the company Password JDM, um, back when they were still in business, I did order fenders for this, brand new ones that have the um, side markers cut out. Um, so I could get those painted, have them put on. Right now they're just primer black. But uh, yeah, this thing is on the ground. Um, yeah, and... Like I said, I got to change the oil on it still. Um, but I set it down the ground. It was on front jack stand still. So I could change the oil, but the oil's cold. And um, today is kind of kind of cool out. It's gotten cool out. It was just raining. So there's that. And uh, I don't want to really just drain the oil with the cold. I kind of want to warm it up a little bit. It's 7 o'clock at night. I don't want to fire this thing up. It's a lot of shit. So I'm going to do it tomorrow, I think. Fire it up. Let her run for a little bit, and then we'll shut her down and dump the oil out of it. Get fresh oil in it, and uh, should be should be good to go for the dyno. Um, Eric from Unified is coming over tomorrow to go over the car um, for me. I did ask him if you know he'd be willing to give me a hand, and he said he'd be down. So um, I just want a second set of eyes on the car before it goes to the dyno in case there's anything I missed something I didn't look at really don't want to get down there and then have some issue I'd rather just let's go over everything and being that he had already gone through this process with uh, Brad's car hopefully hopefully uh, we can figure out any problems that it might have before I go to the dyno so um, 
yeah uh pretty much all i got for this video guys um the next video it might be a bit at least a couple weeks i work next weekend so hopefully if i can hit the dyno in two weeks hopefully that's the next video you guys see is the dyno video but we will see what happens um i can't i'm obviously not gonna guarantee that will be the next video but if there's a long lapse in me in content i apologize i'm just trying to bring you guys some quality stuff and not just boring stuff um and now with it you know being spring summer coming race events will be coming too so we get back to the track and do some uh fun summer stuff with the cars so thanks for watching um like follow subscribe tell your friends and uh see you guys in the next video peace I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a god, never change, play the game that we say